Hi, Dr. Mark Vaughn of the Auburn Medical Group speaking to you about the coronavirus vaccine. Currently, there are several vaccines being developed by government, commercial, and charitable organizations concomitantly. At least two, if not more, are either in human trials or about to start human trials. With several efforts by various investigators all over the world, we will likely see a working vaccine result. Some groups are even claiming that they will have data on efficacy of the vaccines in humans as early as May. In addition to several vaccines being developed at once, we also have some studies, for example in the UK, skipping standard safety steps before purposely exposing human subjects to the virus. They are taking such unconventional steps because of the unbearably high cost of life with each day of delay in distribution of a working vaccine. My reason for making this video is to make sure people understand how to look at the effects of the vaccine when they see it. Without the vaccine, a certain number of people will become symptomatic from the virus. The goal of the vaccine is to make that number much lower. It is important to recognize that vaccines do not work immediately following administration. Generally, it takes a few weeks following the injection for the vaccine to be effective. This means that for the first few weeks following a vaccination, there is no effect. The same number of people are expected to become symptomatic from the virus with the vaccine as those without the vaccine during those first few weeks. In fact, even during that initial period of weeks, some people given the vaccine will still become symptomatic, although most with less severe symptoms. My point is this, if you personally observe someone who is vaccinated later suffering infection with COVID-19, it does not mean that the vaccine does not work or that it causes COVID-19. Science is based on isolating a question by taking out variables, this is best done by studying a cohort of many subjects and comparing them to another large group with only one difference between them. In this case, the difference is whether or not they received the vaccine. Only with looking at a large group can you tell if there is a difference between getting the vaccine and not getting the vaccine. Humans do not naturally think this way. We have evolved to make decisions instead based on what we personally experience and see right in front of us. Unfortunately, that way of determining truth can be influenced by only experiencing or seeing exceptions to what is going on with the big picture. These exceptions stand out to us. For example, hearing about someone who came down with COVID-19 after getting vaccinated. It is a story with a character we can identify. Our brains have evolved to pay attention to story and characters better than to faceless numbers. We take this story and unintentionally give it priority over faceless and nameless vaccine efficacy statistics. Make an effort to not be swayed by exceptional stories. Your brain will focus on exceptions, but you can look at the big picture and recognize how the sensational exception stands out in contrast to the anonymous, bigger truth. Thanks for considering this. Thanks also to channel member Lindsay Antwine. Keep socially isolating for now and stay in good health.